I'm Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. Here is a very interesting question from one of the subscribers who wants to understand how to find the time in an exponential equation. With the help of this example, which has also been posted by him, it will be very interesting to see how to use logarithms to find time period. The question here is, a set of 90 insects growing at a rate of 1% per day, another set of 10 insects growing at a rate of 4% per day, when will their population become equal? So let me first give you the formula which should be used for growth. Number of insects at any time t is basically equal to initial amount, let me write this as n0, into 1 plus growth rate to the power of t. Now in this particular case, we are given growth rate of 1% and 4%. So when the rate is given in percent, we have to write this as 1 over 100, a decimal equivalent of 0 0.01. Similarly, 4% will be equal to 0 0.01. 0, 4. Correct? Now, using this formula, we can write both the equations. The first one, we have 90 insects growing at a rate of 1% per day. So, the initial amount is 90. So, in first case, we get number of insects, let me write N1, is equal to 90 times 1 plus Growth rate of 1% means 0 0.01 over t. The second equation, the number of insects of the second type, second set of insects, which are 10 insects growing, so 10 is the initial number, at the rate of 4%, 1 plus 0 0.04 to the power of t. Okay? When will their population become equal? That means when will number of insects of one type will be equal to number of insects of the other type. So we can equate these two equations, right? So what we get here is 90 times 1 plus 0 0.01 can be written as 1.01 .01 to the power of t equals to 10 times 1.04 to the power of t, correct? Now, you can simplify this, dividing both sides by 10, we get 9 times 1.01 .01 to the power of t equals to 1.04 to the power of t. Now, the question is, how to find t from such an equation? So in exponential equations, we really don't have a method to find it. One of them will be graphing. You could use Excel sheet to find it. Those are different ways, right? So what we do in this case is use logarithms. So let me share with you some laws of logarithm. And then we'll use those laws to solve it further. So basically, we are going to use two laws of logarithm. One is, here we see a product, right, and also a power. So if I have, uh, if I am taking log of A times B, then it could be written as log of A plus log of B. That is one thing. Second is that if I have log of, let us say, B to the power of m then that could be written as m times log of b so these are the two properties or logarithms which we are going to use to solve this equation further so what we are going to do at this stage is take logarithms on both the sides so when i write log it's kind of like this log 9 times 1.01 .01 to the power of t equals to log of 1.04 to the power of t. Do you see that? So taking log both sides can help us solve this particular equation. Now here you see log of 9 times something. So I'll use the first 
log and write this as log of 9 plus log of 1.01 to the power of t equals to log of now here I can use the power rule b to the power of m so I can multiply this t with log of 1.04 do you see that portion okay so this log in I'll apply to the left side also we have a similar term so you could write this as log of 9 plus t times log of 1.01 .01 equals to t times log of 1.04 now we can isolate t, right? Taking this term to the right side, we get log 9. You can always calculate these logarithms using calculator, which we are going to do shortly. So we have t times log of 1.04 minus t times log of 1.01. .01. And taking t common, we can get this as log of 1.04 minus log of 1.01 .01, okay? and now you can write what t is which is log 9 divided by all this perfect so we get log of 9 divided by log of 1.04 minus log of 1.01 .01. so that is equal to t so let's use calculator to find this answer so log we have two functions here this is to the base 10 which we used just now so we'll use this log so we have log 9 so first thing is log 9 equals 2 and then we are going to divide this by let me put it within brackets log of 1.04 minus log of 1.01 so use brackets as I have done here and what you get here is t equals to 75.06 right so that is the answer so it takes slightly more than 75 now this rate is per day so slightly more than 75 days right so so that is the answer so more than 75 days so we'll round it higher with we'll say 76 days so we'll round it higher this is growth rate per day so that gives you the solution is actually almost 75 days so you would write 75 also but 76 is better definitely um, another set 10 insects growing at the rate of this when will their population become equal so after 75 days so it is on 76th day correct so that becomes the solution for the given question I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. You can review the laws of logarithms to solve such questions. But most exponential equations could be solved for time using logarithms. Uh, feel free to share my videos with your friends and if you like and subscribe to them, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.